Hey, welcome back to another news video. And inside today's short little news video, I have news that I think you're gonna find interesting. Of course, before we get started though, you better use my code. If I see you in game, you're getting a gift. Means a lot though, and of course, if you guys are actually using my code, I, I appreciate it a lot and uh, maybe you could check if you're still using it because it goes away every 45 days. Shameless self-plug out of the way, you guys have seen the title, the thumbnail and everything, we're talking about UGC. There was a little post from a developer talking about how there was a new drop of UGC items from their white gloves program. So if you guys go to featured inside your store, you guys might see featured creations. Now these two carousels are both UGC, but this one are more UGC basically. For our new featured creations or custom clothing now, we have what seems to be this backpack, these headphones, these little like pixelated glasses. We have a Sigma headband, a little treasure box back item, pretty cool. I think there's some sort of like leaf bundled up. A dress, some more sawhorse items as you guys can see. A whole bunch of sawhorse items as you guys can see, and then it goes back to the old list. So we have some new UGC inside the game, and of course, be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts. Sigma's gotta be my favorite. I, I, I need to do this. If I didn't have the squid hat, I'd be wearing the Sigma. Be sure to let me know what you're copping or dropping down inside the comments below, and what do you think about UGC? Recommend also release some new Wreck in Progress stuff. If you don't remember, that's just like new features that they tease that the developers are currently working on. For our first Wreck in Progress, they say dive into manipulate with Wreck in Progress. Manipulate objects in a world with greater precision on mobile and other flat screen devices. In this image, you guys can basically see that people are able to precisely put, you know, items down and and you're also able to rotate items as well. It's like screen players have telekinesis, if you will. From what I've been told, this is actually a feature inside the game currently, but it's actually a split test, so some people do and don't have it. There's also another wreck in progress, which I don't believe anybody has, but it's this new pinging feature where you can ping weapons and enemies and stuff like that, and it's just another way of non-verbal communication. In case you guys aren't aware, there's new developer blogs, which you guys can read, that talk about the new Rec'em Studio material conversion tool and the first official Rooms 2.0 template. Those are some of the more recent developer blogs that have come out and stuff like that, and if you guys want to check them out, I will have the links down inside the description below. On an unrelated note though, this next part isn't news, the weekly is coming tomorrow, tomorrow's Friday. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what the second week of Rectuber is going to actually include, but I'm excited. Not to also mention, Rec Room has gotten rid of the actual, you know, decorations or toys that used to be here inside the rec center. If you guys don't remember, there was like blocks over here, there's some sort of tic-tac-toe right here, and there was like checkers over here. Have no idea why they got rid of them, I don't know if it was like a hacker apparently or something like that, but honestly I thought they were pretty cool and we should definitely have more things like that inside the rec center. I honestly miss back when Rec Room would just add random things to the rec center that was like Maker Pen made, to be honest. PLEASE REC ROOM PLEASE! Now, not to shamelessly self-plug or anything like that, but you know how I co-own some rooms. I don't build at all, but I'll talk about them in my videos or give, you know, promotions out to them, and I have another one. It's a cozy little Halloween themed hangout room that takes place inside of a barn and is beautifully decorated, and it's titled Cozy Fest. Made by my friend Skyth VR, you might also know him as a maker friend teacher, he's pretty cool. We've got clickers! A mirror, screen share if you guys are interested, and icebreakers of course. You know, we love a good icebreaker. And uh, there's also fly if you want to buy that too. Check it out if you guys want to. And there's even a little secret as well. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Check out the game, link in description. I know where you live. Now, of course, that's not all, but for this next segment of the video, it comes from developers and stuff like that. I call this part of the video the dev Q&A, if you will. Players will sometimes ask developers questions, or sometimes developers will just have little announcements talking about new features that are coming inside the game and about questions that you may have about the game. That's why I kind of do this. That, that's that's why it's important. We had already got confirmation from a Rec Room developer that hair is going to be getting support inside of Rec Room Avatar Studio, which basically means like UGC hair and stuff, which is cool. Ray sprites though are going to be a whole other can of worms, so let's go with a maybe on that, and they honestly wouldn't know themselves, so now I don't remember, but I may have talked about this news before, as it's not actually a secret at all, and this isn't like new info or anything like that, but there's no ETA on when hairs will actually get support and stuff, but they are working towards that. As you'll notice, most of the UGC items that we have right now are actually just clothing items, none of them are actually like hair or body stuff. What are your guys' thoughts on piercings being added to Rec Room? I think that would be cool. And we have news about upgraded bean avatars and 
the rollout to all platforms, so you know the new Bean Avatar will no longer be a split test. Max Powers has confirmed that this is their plan for the morning. They'll be rolling out an upgraded Bean to all platforms except Quest, but for Quest they're debating on if they'll roll back upgraded Bean entirely so they can run some more tests to see why the crash rate is up, but what they're hoping to do is for folks who already did have access to the upgraded Bean, we make sure you keep having access and find a way to run a test to see if we fix the issue. They are currently trying to minimize how many times players are forced to modify their identity, but if we would have to roll back the upgraded Bean for all quest players, how bad would that feel? So basically, new Bean Body avatars are going to be rolled out to everyone other than Quest, unfortunately, and they still need to fix a few things with that. He had previously also given more information onto what this actual issue was by saying this. When responding to a member, he had said, to give a bit more detail into the issue we're seeing, it seems to be an issue we're having with both the upgraded Bean and the classic Bean systems together that are causing issues. It is almost like for some players that the act of switching between classic and upgraded is causing active memory on the quest to climb. So either something is wrong with the quest, or VR players are just switching between classic and upgraded being a bunch. Also to clarify that we want to keep the use classic bean option around even if it is causing issues. We're seeing if we can fix them, and it gives us time to figure out what else we need to fix so we can eventually remove it as an option. Also a little side note for Max Powers as well, to be clear they are still planning on rolling out the upgraded bean to everyone. We aren't saying that UBA will never come out on quest, we just need more time with the quest devices to make sure we aren't causing more crashes because of something else going on. So enjoy that folks, that's pretty much all the news that we have inside this video for new bean body avatars. <sighs> Ah, the beach is so beautiful today. Uh, oh, uh, hey, uh, did you know that I have channel memberships? Yes, that's right, I have channel memberships. And if you don't know what these channel memberships are, they basically give me money every month and I give them perks every month. Great, now that people have skipped this part of the video, I just want to say that I'm going to be having a few sponsorships pretty soon, so expect to see some Kiwi design stuff, some AMVR stuff, you know how it is. People that usually skip my membership stuff will not see this. So if you watch through all my membership bits and stuff like that, I love you. Anyway. <laughs> Join the family if you want to become a membership, and anyways, I have people's names to shout out. I just saw Pal and Cam VR as Squidlings, appreciate it brothers, and of course, shout out to Calamari and above. We got Hydro, Jack Tutorial, Reed Reed, Now the Pup, The Dragon Boy, Ghastly, Garlic Bread, It's Freddy RR, Dozer Blade Cat, BBB Burning Owl, Raphael Cloud, Netflix 69, and of course, Box David. Hydro actually upgraded not too long ago, I appreciate it, big ups to you Hydro, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much our memberships. Now of course, let's get back inside this video. Node Animation does also end up talking about hats. He has this whole little announcement talking about it. He's currently working with a developer on customizable hat slider ranges, and we know there are differences in mapping between classic bean and full body slash upgraded bean. And we think that the fastest way to overcome this is to give a little more range to the vertical position offset and forward tilt. It looks like some hats have bad ranges overall, like this is for both full body avatar and upgraded bean avatars. They need your help though, and if you're passionate about this, can you take comparison screenshots of a couple looks you achieve on classic bean avatar? that you're not able to achieve on full body avatar or upgraded beans, I'll make use of this as I work with our developers to make improvements to as many as we can. If you guys do want to end up actually helping and collaborating with developers and stuff like this, join the Rec Room Discord server, link in description. And that's the end of our dev Q&A. To be honest, the new upgraded bean body avatars, I love them to death, but they are just in such a funny stage right now. People just aren't people right now. But honestly, that was pretty much all the news that we had for today's video. Of course, if you guys want to see more Rec Room news, you should be seeing a video on that side of the screen and stuff, and I just recently got my hair braided. That's literally everything that's going on in my life, and uh, yeah, I need to stream more too. I'm slacking, I'm slacking, I know. But of course, people, thank you guys for all the love, support, like, subscribe, do all that crazy stuff. I, I appreciate it, and uh, bye.